Welcome to sunny Whistler, BC. We're at the bike park and this is Dirt Shed Show. Thanks to Chain Reaction Cycles, our good friends over there. And this is all about the bike park. It's the Dirt Shed Show. Yes, this week has been all about the bike park. We're at Crankworks Whistler, where Joyride has just gone. It was epic to watch. Mr. Neil Donahue was racing down that mountain, down Gombonzo. Mr. Ashton's been riding the tandem with myself and some other guests that you would find out very soon. Well, you probably know who he is. Uh, I've been having so much fun out here. I've been riding all the trails. I've been riding with some great people, some great athletes. We got Greg Callahan, we got Zach Johansson, and I've been hanging out with some of the slope style dudes, all my old friends. It's been going off this week. Had so, so much fun. But to be honest, I don't know where they're all gone. It's just me on my own. Mine's taking in the beautiful life down there with all those happy people, getting on the lift to go back to the top to have an excellent time coming down. And Neil, I actually don't know where he is. He's been racing. So let's get on with the show. So the guys have headed off into the mountain to do a bit of riding and I've taken that opportunity to come and explore a little bit of the landscape around Whistler Bike Park. Um, the clouds have moved away, which is nice. I've got some lovely sunshine. Uh, I'm down at the lake at the bottom here. It looks absolutely fabulous. Um, it's an incredible place, it really is. The bike path's got so much energy. Uh, and then you come out and there's, there's so much peace. There's people going out in these kayaks over there and they're just rolling their ways out, well, paddling, paddling their ways out onto the lake and having a great time. Feels like one of my greatest moments. So why don't we use that opportunity uh, to take a look at this greatest moment. What a cool shot from Eric out with uh, grandpa and friends. Um, that looks like a great ride. I love those two fat bikes, the spank bars. That looks cool. Uh, and appreciate the GMBN jersey in there too, Eric. Nice one. Uh, thanks very much. If you've got a great moment you'd like to share with us, whether it's a video or a photo, then you can send it in to the GMBN uploader, of course, where you can send all your bike faults and your sends uh, and any of your fails if that's all gone wrong but you captured it on video it's all good if you keep safe um yeah send it into the GMBN uploader yeah and uh thanks for that eric that's a great moment indeed just like this one now i must continue my trek so there's the village center the boys have gone up here into the mountains i'm going around this altar lake i'm taking the trail all the way around I'm heading up there, get a good view of the park from there, and I'm going to drop back down. And I'm hopefully going to meet the boys back in the village centre. Fingers crossed. I hope it works out. Okay, it's an opportunity to get some speed up. See how fast we can get this wheelchair to go. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a nice little bit. Down through the trees. Lovely. Little river there. I do love it out in Whistler, it's great. And I've really loved watching the EWS. There's one thing you notice when you're at one of the EWS rounds is that obviously it's all the top pros. There's Sam Hill and there's uh, Richie Rude, who's riding amazing at the moment. And then there's Isabeau Cadurier smashing it. But what you don't see in the results of the top podium is the fact that alongside those people, there's 600 other riders, all age groups, all talents, Sorry for getting close to the lens. It's incredible, really inspiring that literally you could be watching this and next year you could be racing at the same event as Sam Hill on the same track. For all those people who I've given a nice to on the bike vault, this hill's for you. This is the punishment I receive for not giving out super nices when they're deserved. Okay, I promise. Your bike was a super nice. I mean it. It was a super nice. I must give out super nices. I will give out more super nices. Wow. <laughs> Screw you. You get what you're given. I'll give out a super nice when I damn well please. And I... hey, I'm a big fan. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> His bike was a super nice. This is going to be fast. Hold tight. Ooh. Yeah, come on. Woo! 
This is ace. The news this week, while it was the final weekend of the Crankworks Festival in Whistler that I flew back from last week, uh, Martin and Blake are currently traveling back from now and they would have witnessed the couple of last events there. So the Canadian downhill is a proper downhill track, a proper downhill race. It's tough, it's gnarly. Three minutes long, uh, the win went to Tracy Hanna. Uh, actually interesting to note that Valley Hall, that was her first elite women's race, so coming up from junior, sort of, you know, mid-season. She's not actually gonna race elite for the rest of the year, but just for that one race, she was elite. She got second place, just 0.6 behind Tracy Hanna, and Miriam Nicole made her return to racing from injury to come third. In the men's, Troy Brosnan took the win for the fifth time. Uh, it's obviously super successful there. In second was Bruce Klein and Kirk McDowell in third place. The big event for Crankworks is Joyride, that slope style event. It rounds everything off and it's the one where everyone crowds down to the bottom of the mountain to watch. And it was pretty incredible. Emil Johansson, the young Swedish rider, put down an incredible run, super smooth as well, which actually made him take the win because we saw a couple of big runs, uh, notably from Regatkin, but just not smooth enough to get in there with a the chance of winning. Second place went to Brett Reader, another smooth run as well. David Godzett came in third. A new bike from Trek this week, we've got the Fuel EX. Uh, interesting about this bike is the wheels come to fit the size of the bike. So anything from small down comes to 27.5, anything from medium up to XL comes to 29. Carbon and alloy versions available, and it's got this sort of SWAT thing, almost like the Specialized. So storage inside the down tube, so you can chuck an inner tube, a sandwich, something like that. Stack ahead tube, it's 66 degrees, steeper seat tube 75, and longer 10 to 20 mil. Uh, for each size. So just following the trend that everyone's doing, when are these bikes gonna stop getting steeper on the seat tube and slacker on the head tube and a bit longer? Who knows? While I'm rolling down here, why don't we take an opportunity to look at your fails and bails this week? I hope everyone stayed safe. Uh, I'm gonna stop recording now because I'm starting to pick up speed and I need to grab the tires. But yeah, right, fail and bail time. Hold tight. Jack, I'm gonna need some help here, dude. One, two, one, two, three, go! Axe bunches, axe bunches, axe bunches, axe bunches, yes! Welcome to this week's Hacks and Bodges, you beautiful people. Thanks to Chain Reaction Cycles for giving us a hundred pound. Yeah, a hundred quid, real money to go and spend in their shop with stuff that you might win from the Hacks and Bodges. And if you want to get involved with all of this, don't forget to use our uploader and you can use it for Hacks and Bodges, send of the week and anything else that you guys want to give to us, send it there. Now I'm going to kick it off with this first one. It's pretty ingenious. It comes from the UK, from Lis, which is not far from where Jack and I do live. Uh, it is from Tor, T-O-R, and what he's done with his dad Take a look at this. He's drilled a frame, a hole in his frame so he can get internal routing cable because basically his stereo was kind of destroying his cables. Take a look at this. There's a few pictures. But I look at that one there, right? Where the drill bit is against the frame. Now that just feels wrong, but it works and it looks very neat. Do like that one from Tor. Right, look at this next one. It's a bit roady, not gonna lie. And this one comes from Greg. This is his old road bike parts, and he's from Knoxville in Tennessee in the USA. Pretty cool, I like the wood. Do you like the saddle, the bars? It's nice. It's a, it's a, well, it's a hack, right? You can hang your coats on it. Bit of wall art. Looks like a wild animal as such, but a road bike stuff. I like it, yeah, yeah. But I think this next one's my favorite. 
okay? Because I want one. And this one comes from Peter. He's from South Australia. This is ingenious. He's got one of my favorite branded cars. I've had a few of those, a Subaru. But look at this tow hitch. There's a load of pictures about this one. But I'm looking at this one. It's crazy how the whole thing swings out so you can actually access his car boot. So you don't have to take your bike off. At the moment, me, I have to take all my bikes off to get into my boot. I need one of these in my life and I like it. Now that is definitely a hack that is very ingenious, very clever, and it looks kind of lightweight. Very cool. I'm gonna to have to go for it. Like I, I like the first one, I like Tor's one because he's actually made his bike a lot more better looking, cleaner. But I think the, the root, uh, I'm gonna say it. Peter, your genius engineering has inspired me. I'm gonna look at this a lot more. And I think you should win the, the uh, Chain Reactions 100 pound this week. Well done, mate. Well done, well done. Let us know what you spend it on because we love to see what you guys buy to improve your riding. Maybe a new helmet, some gloves, maybe some bits for your bike, some grips. Whatever. If you want to get involved, like I said, use our uploader. It's linked in the description down below. You can send in your hacks and bodges, your sends, and anything else that you want us to see. Your bike vault photos, anything. Whew. That was sick. I actually like that. You got to see this, Jack. It's really cool. I thought I'd just stay here because it's nice. I like it. It's peaceful. I can hear the river. And I thought I'd just take in a bit more Whistler woods, woodlands. I, I might actually just set up a tent here and live here. Anyway, I'm gonna move on. Right, caption contest. Last week was all about the tandem. We're still in Whistler and it was getting loaded onto the Fitzsimmons lift where Mr. Ashton and I were gonna go and shred some trails. It was pretty sick. Now we've got some cool ones come through. Uh, we got one from Rocky or Rochi. I'm sorry, I'm not really good at names, but he says, nice to see Martin bought his kids. <laughs> what? When does Blake get into school age? What? I'm 34 years old. I've done school. Anyway, he says caption contest. It says bike vault jury at work. That's a super nice. I like that. We are the jury and we're at work. Next one comes from Brandon. Uh, it says priority seating usually means people, but an exception has been made. Yeah, I think so. You know, tandem's pretty, pretty high up there. Pretty famous little guy, that thing. Well, it's not little, it's massive. Next one comes from Amy Mary. He says, Neil says, just when you think the tandem bike can't get any higher. Well, it did get high on those A-line jumps that Martin and I did. That was pretty scary. But that's a good one, because it's pretty high up there. Next one comes from Dave. David, complete tandemanium. 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 I messed that up, but tandemonium. That's pretty good. Complete tandemonium, because it was. It was buzzing, riding the tandem. Do you know what, David? I think you win, mate. Well done, well done. Now, if I had a water bottle, I would have thrown it to you, but there's a water bottle coming towards you right now in the post, so you can keep hydrated in those summer months. Now, this week's photo <laughs> is a bit cute. Take a look at this. Oh, now that's Jack behind the camera, and that's Ben Deacon. Jack was taking a photo, or oh, actually he wasn't. I think they're just being a bit romantic in the woods. So go, go mental at that, and we'll get those nice caption contests next week. Come up the channel, the I'm still here. I'm going mad now. And like talking in different language and stuff. Well, coming up on the channel this week, there's a load of rad stuff coming up from Whistler that we've been shooting out here. We've got one, how to hit big jumps with Neil and myself. And then we've got a, uh, the glasses. We did some cool stuff with uh, Oakley glasses to see if safety riding glasses work and make you better at riding in the woods and stuff like that. It's pretty interesting on that stuff. And there's some cool lenses that come with these new glasses. Also, we've got downhill bike versus enduro bike. Which one's the best one for a bike park? And Neil and I, we had the terrible job of riding two bikes at each in the bike park to see which one's the best. It was really hard work. I wouldn't recommend it. It's, uh, yeah, it was terrible but it actually was, it's, I, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it anyway. Anyway, 
There are the videos that are coming up on the channel for you, you beautiful people to go out and watch, get inspired to ride bikes. Okay, as you can see behind me, Crankworks is well underway here in Whistler and it's looking like a fantastic event. All the pros are here, the EWS race is taking place as we speak. All of the top riders are coming down into the finish area after racing down from top of the world. But look at all of the riders here come to enjoy just the place and the atmosphere. The queues for the lifts are huge. People are going up onto the hill and having a great time. But what I'm gonna do is dive down into the masses, go and meet some of the people, take a look at some of the bikes, decide if they're nice or they're super nice, uh, do a bit of bike vaulting, and uh, yeah, basically give you a bit of a feel of what it's like to be here at Whistler at Crankworks Week. It is special. Let's get down and take a look. Okay, first up in this week's Bike Hard Bike Vault is Whistler Village Sports lineup. Look at this, we've got lovely Trek Session. That is nice, I love that red. It's got so much pop in it. Like that little shot down between the three bikes there. What do we think? What are we giving that? I would say that is a, well, I can't lie. That's a super nice. If you come into Whistler and you're gonna ride bikes, can't go much wrong there. That's not all you can enjoy from Whistler Village Sports either, because look, they've got some stuff for the smaller rider. Look at that. Yes. 20 inch wheel full suspension down your spank. That is the Rocky. I like that a lot. I think I'm going to give that a super nice too. And you know what? I don't think there's going to be many nices today, but I like them a lot. Come on, bring the kids, ride Whistler. I've moved on to Sports Stop Source for Sports, um, and they have got some really nice hardtails on offer. It's another Trek, it's the Marlin, and they've got it in every single size. This is really cool, this bike, nice hardtail. Get out on the trails and have fun, and you can ride it for like $15 for an hour of mountain biking, so that's a pretty good deal, and it's a really handy bike. We'll be able to handle all, all of the easy trails. It's nice, it's a nice bike, it's a nice. Okay, so things are getting serious now. We're at Evolution, which is probably the coolest independent bike dealer in Whistler Village. Uh, they've got some amazing stuff in there and they've definitely got some amazing bikes for hire. Look at this, you can go and hire a Santa Cruz V10 49. I mean, this bike was like unheard of just a couple of years ago uh, and this bike it's like less than $200 for the whole day and you get to experience this bike. I mean, what a day to spend on your holiday while you're moving around Canada. Oh man, that's definitely a super nice. I mean, it's essentially Greg Minard's bike. Does it get any better? I love it, I love it. I don't like the color though. I'd like a nicer color than this one. Gray's kind of boring, sorry Greg. Okay, we're at Fanatic Co Bike Shop. They've got lots of specialised. You've got the uh, hardtails over there, which look pretty cool, worth a, worth a day out. But I uh, quite like the look of this Druid here. This is really nice. Great bike. Definitely going to get a lot out of it. Easy to use, easy to handle. It's not, what's the word? It's not intimidating but uh, definitely gonna get the job done out on some of the tougher trails in this park, which I really like, but they've also got a specialized Demo 8 down on the end, so let me show you that. By the way, what are we giving this? I'd say that's a nice, it's nice. It's a nice bike, I like it. I do like a Demo 8, it's very, very nice. Uh, this is the aluminium version, pretty capable downhill weapon. Uh, I'd definitely give it as super nice because, well, I can't really give that less than that. Uh, but I would prefer the carbon one, which would have got like a really super nice. But this one's definitely super nice. I like it a lot. Super nice. Joke. No, it's nice. It's just a bike, all right? But thanks very much for watching the Dirt Shed Show. It's been super cool being out here in Whistler Mountain Bike Park, doing some rad stuff. And if you want to carry on watching GMBN, don't forget to click over here where Martin and I do the famous A-Line ADH on a tandem. And I'm not gonna lie, it was super scary. And we had a little bit of tension between each other, but we still mates. 
If you want to check it out, click that. Don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe because you're missing on some rad stuff. Give us a thumbs up like if you love the Dirt Shed Show and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.